this is Jason the PCMD. You can reach me at my website at jasonthepcmd.blogspot.com. Uh, this would be a fairly short video here, but I just wanted to show something to you. Uh, there are a, there's a series of hard drive made by Seagate, and it's for laptops. And it's I don't know if you'll be able to see this here. It's the Momentus 7200.4, and this one is an 80 gigabyte drive. And we had a problem with these drives going bad where they would absolutely not detect in the system and in the course of a month we had about six or seven of these drives go bad in one month and the system and the uh, the symptom would be you would turn the computer on and it would just act like there's no hard drive so I can show you what it would look like here I have a computer that has no hard drive installed another Dell, always. Turn it on. There's no hard drive installed. And it would say, no bootable devices. Strike the F1 key to continue. Now it had a, C a CD in the drive, so I'm going to pop that out so we can see it exactly as you would see it. So it would just say, no bootable devices, strike F1 to retry boot, F2 for setup utility, F5 to run onboard diagnostics. So, anyway, the drive is the Seagate Momentus 7200.4. Now, these drives, they go bad, or they had a, a bad habit of going bad, so I don't trust them very much. Now, Dell has an update that you can run on the drives, and I've actually burned that to a disk. And you'd look up the model of the computer you had, if it had that drive, if you know it's got a 7200.4 drive. Now, if the drive is bad, having the update won't do you any good at all because the drive has failed. And I've even swapped out the circuit boards on these drives to try and fix the problem, but it didn't resolve anything. It wouldn't even see the drive. So we're going to try and update this drive here. So I've got the drive in there. I'm going to turn it on here. I'm going to hit the F12 key to access the boot menu on this Dell. And we're going to select CD, DVD, CDRW drive with that uh, boot disk in there. I'm going to tilt this down so it doesn't have so much light shining off of it. And it's going to load up some DOS things here. It says, do not power off the system until completion screen is done. It says, attempting to update the Momentus 7200.4 and the 7200FDE2. 7200FDE2 is an encrypted drive. Oh, and this drive has never been updated, so it's actually running the update on here now. This is the, the ST number. That's the internal ST980412 ASG. Now, anything in the 7200.4 series from Momentus could have this problem. So if you have a lot of Dells with the E6400s, particularly with 80 gig drives, check for the, the Seagates and see if they've been updated. Okay, so it says the firmware process has been completed. And so now it says just to power the system off. So we'll do that. And now drive's updated and ready to go. So that's just a little tip here. I've actually got more of these drives. I had a collection of them when they were bad, hoping that somehow I could swap circuit boards between them and get them working, but in, never found a way to get them going. Normally, if you can swap the circuit, the circuit boards bad, you can switch them out between two identical drives, and every once in a while it'll work. Um, the fact that it's not detecting at all makes me think that it's got some internal problems, such as some of the drives, the um, data is, the drive information is encoded on the disks. If one of the heads went bad on the drive and it can't read the, the uh, encoding data off the drive, then the drive can't be used at all, and you have to send it off to a company like Data Doctor or, or Kroll on track to have them take the drive apart in a clean room and actually get the data off. And again, uh, this is Jason the PCMD. My website is jasonthepcmd.blogspot.com. Thanks.